What's up, y'all? Down south, 77 again, and this is Three Star Draw. This is an adult channel where we talk about G.I. Joe Classified. Not an adult channel like you used to have to watch Scrambled and Cable back in the day, but just a channel where we might say some adult words. So just wanted to point that out there. Today, we're going to be talking about number 104 in the Classified series, Agent Helix. I'm not going to lie. When they announced Agent Helix, I was thinking, who the hell is this? I didn't read the IDW run of comics until <laughs> this year. And I actually haven't even read all of them. I've made it to 270 because the digital versions that I bought stopped at 270. So I still haven't read 271 to 300. But I'd heard the name, I just had no relation to the character. So I went back and I had to do a little research. And I'm like, okay, well, I kind of know who she was. So she was developed for the Rise of Cobra video game tie-in. And I never played that. I honestly didn't want anything to do with that movie. 80% uh, of that movie made me embarrassed to be a G.I. Joe fan. The other 20% was actually really good. So anyway, I, I had to go back and relearn who who Helix even was. So I didn't collect the Pursuit of Cobra line. I wasn't collecting figures at the time. So this is going to be a new experience for me with the character. And she's not one that I was just clamoring for. Uh, and I'm slow to warm up to new characters or new to me characters. And she is one. So I do like the look of her though. So we're getting ready to get her open and check her out and see what she's all about. All right, so here we are with Agent Helix. Here she is. Here is what the box looks like. Good artwork there. I like the artwork on her. She's got some, she's got some cool some cool highlights. I don't have the ring light on yet because I don't want it to. I don't want the glare while I'm while I'm showing you Helix's box. So there's all her stuff she comes with, and there is that thing. So I usually like to put something up here that's related to the figure, and this is all I've got. I, I didn't dig through everything, but there she is. This is on the cover of IDW 283. So, yeah, well, I can't fight the glare. So there she is. There is Agent Helix on the cover of that issue, which I've never read. And Dawn Moreno, you know she's coming. How long you guys think it's going to be before we get Dawn Moreno? I'm honestly surprised that they haven't, they haven't made her yet. You know she's coming, and I bet she will be a deluxe figure. I would put, no, oh, I'd put $20 on it. Anybody wants to take that bet and try to collect, we can do it. So, let's get her out here. So, I've already seen one Helix arm fall off straight out the box. Uh-oh. Better look. There she is. Now we're going to get some light. The the hair skull. She's got a she's got a really nice head skull. So I'm very happy that nothing is loose there, rattling around in the box. These figures are in there so tight. They put them in, they put them in these so tight. So let's get her there. There is a box deal. So it looks nice as usual. And as usual, I will say I wish they'd put a splash of color on these. On her, I would probably do her hair the blonde part and maybe 
this blade here, the clip on the blade. Put something down at the bottom. So we'll set that over there and let's check her out. So she's got this, she has this weird ab. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. So she's not, she's a little, she's a little loose. Uh, not too bad. I don't, I don't care for this this part it's it, it's too uh, I, I get it i get why it's there it just don't look right to me maybe it's because this is a different color than this piece here this is a gray this is definitely black she i mean right out the box first impression is she's all right i'm gonna move that exacto before it lands on my foot so her leg, there's a little, nope, it popped back in, okay. So she's got supposedly this new arm design that we've already seen is can be faulty. She don't have much of a, that's, a, that's it. I'm not going to force it because we've already seen what these can do. Well, wait a minute, that one goes up. I'm not again, I'm not gonna force it. I'm gonna heat her up before I do that, but like that one the right arm goes up and the left one don't. So she's got there's what that looks like. She's got all of the standard articulation. This figure her 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 cuts are they break loose, but man they're they're tight first. That that right leg, it, I mean, it's in there. I don't think it's going anywhere, but it's it's wobbly. So her legs are okay as far as pose wise. Ankle, I have a lot of issues with getting ankles to move and do what they're supposed to do. So for a figure that's supposed to be super posable. <laughs> and martial artists and all that so she was she is basically a weapon she's basically a living computer that's that elbow there I guess that's very that's very tight there but that's about as much force as I'm gonna put on one and it's it's right before the threshold of breaking it but it did it did break loose so the hair this is like she needs to do her roots that's basically what that amounts to very good sculpting on it very very good sculpting on the head uh, the eyes are just about perfect and she's got pretty blue eyes how you doing? So she's got her little belt. I just she she looks okay. She's not she's not breathtaking. She's not a f amazing first impression. Just totally rad figure. She's okay. I like the yellow. Um, she's got the patch thing there. I don't know. Come on. That's probably tactics or something. And then she's got her band-aid that I don't think we've ever figured out yet what it's what it's actually for. So let's go ahead and get her weapons out real quick and check them out. Cause I wanna see these I wanna see these mantis blades. So pause it just or not pause it. I'm gonna mute it just a second so the rolling papers don't make a bunch of racket. All right, she comes with a lot of stuff. These are what I've been wanting to see. I mean, these are these are curious. They are articulated. 
they look very nice. Uh, this one is straight. This one is straight. Wow. Oh, hit my camera there. So they've they've got some they've got some nice little detail in them. It's got a serrated edge there, and it has two points of articulation. So I kind of I don't know. I'll wait till I, I get them owner, but I like these better than I thought. So same thing. They're 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 the, the same thing. So she has dual katanas that are actually also pretty straight. And these are reuse, I think, and I think the backpack is reuse. She has this comical knife for a character like this. This is like Rakondo's knife. I don't know if it's the same knife, but it's real close. It's that you know machete you know bush knife. And <laughs> does not go with this character at all. She's got she's got enough other shit. She don't need that that knife. So these are her dual pistols. Magazines are in them. They are molded in. They're not removable. Which is probably a good thing because they're clearly you know they're extended magazines. Uh, these are gray. We've got they've got some some detail to them. They look okay. Blast effect ports. I don't know. I guess uh, a lot of these figures they seem to be going with the matching the weapons to a color scheme on the figure, and I mean that's a thing like it. You know, you, you can do it these days. So these are her dual 10 millimeter pistols. And I think they're supposed to be auto pistols, but they're as much a part of her, supposedly, as her arms. They're an extension of her arms. She's supposed to be so good with these, these pistols. She can calculate trajectory and things on the fly. They're a good size for this figure. It's a good size. So there they are. They look okay. They look see what she looks like dual wielding because I do like that. Finger on the trigger. Got my hand in my pocket and my fingers on the trigger. That's the Beastie Boys kid. So that looks pretty good. I like the pistols. Let's see. They do have uh some sort of optic on the bottom. Well, optic, it's I mean it's, it's probably a laser. That's where a, that's where a laser would go on these pistols, but if she is these are fully auto pistols. She don't need that laser. So that's gonna make it hard to sit down on the helicopter. But whatever. I mean that's she doesn't have any other pouches or anything to hold ammo. Maybe, I guess, is that where that knife fits? That knife can't fit in there. What goes in there? That's not going in there. Unless the handle goes in. I think the handle goes in that way, so it's like a... Yeah, just bend it. <laughs> this thing's floppy. Yeah, so the hand... looks like the handle fits there. Uh, okay. She's just not going to have a hard or an easy time sitting down anywhere. <laughs> she, she walks everywhere. Uh, uh, that's stupid. That's going in the ziplock. So here's her katanas. I don't... I like them because I like the yellow. Oh, I like yellow. It, it's not... Well, it's pretty close. I was going to say it's not the same yellow, but it's pretty close. So there she is uh, doing the, the bride from... Kill Bill, because that is exactly what this looks like to me, with all of the yellow and the, and the katanas. So we got her backpack there, and these pour in just. I don't think they're both the same size, so I don't think it really matters. They go in like that. They go easy, and they fall out easy. So if you're turning this figure upside down, they're coming out. There's her katanas, owner. Actually looks good. She looks good from the back. With all of the yellow and the black hanging down here. It's not bad. 
So these are what I want to see. This is the Manus Blaze. Let's get to the let's get to the damn thing. So that one and these look like they can go on anybody. So if you wanted to give them to somebody else and they swing around, they do fit good. I was worried they were going to be loose on a wrist. Now you take them on and off a bunch, they may be. I kind of like these things. They're not very practical. I mean, you know, if the back of your leg itches or something, it'd probably be great as long as you're careful. But so she, I mean, she's geared up, man. You put the, you put the pistols in her hand with those Manus blades. No, we're not even going to talk about that thing, but there she is with them on. And these elbows are, I do, I need to, I do need to heat her up because I can't, I can't deal with this arm not going all the way up. So I'm going to have to heat her up and see what happens. She's not, she's not bad looking. She's not great. Um, I do not like this cut here. If they if the black had a matched, it would have made it a little better. And I, I mean, I'm guessing it's akin to like a some kind of tactical. I mean, it's obviously not a sports bra. It's some kind of bodysuit or armored top. But this part looks armored, and it also looks like a corset. But they should have just continued this up and maybe did color change somewhere to match her her sleeves. So there's Agent Helix. She's she's not a bad figure, but she's not a great figure. She will stand out on the shelf because of the yellow. Uh, she will look good in doing photography. She'll she'll look good with these Manus blades and kicking some some of the Viper's asses that Shockwave might have left standing. So these hips are. Her hips were kind of already dropped down. So there she is, guys. There is Agent Helix. Like I said, I wasn't looking super forward to this character. I, I'm glad I got her. I, we can always use more female Joes in the line. Um, Like, you know, it'd be cool to do, redo this cover here if we ever get a Wolverine. But there she is. And I'll say that a hundred times you've seen that there she is. So I'm going to get on out of here. There's Agent Helix, y'all. She's good. She's not great. She's not subpar, but she she's par. Uh, she's not above par either. So no birdies with her. I'm giving Agent Helix a three. I'm going to give, I'm going to have to leave her at a, I'm going to give her a three and a half yeehaws because I like the Manus Blades. I like the color scheme and the Katanas and that head sculpt is amazing on her. It's, it's really good. And I see a lot of people pulling this, this off of her and putting her on, putting it on something else because it's, there's probably better figures it could go on. So I'm going to give her a three and a half. She's, she's kind of slightly above middle of the road. So, this has been Down South 77 on Three Star Draw. Guys, I'd appreciate it if you like. If you subscribe, tell your friends. Maybe we can get somewhere. I hope to see you next time. Take it easy out there.